Hi, today I am going to discuss what questions that you should ask when completing a psychic reading using Letterman cards. So stay tuned. All right, so today we are going to discuss what questions you should be asking whenever you set an intention when you're completing psychic readings using Letterman cards. Now, whenever you do a psychic reading, there are several different categories that you can ask your client where what areas of life that they are really needing to look at. So these are the different categories that I've come up with. We have the first one is relationships. A lot of clients really want to know about their love life. Okay, so relationships, relationships, relationships. Yes, it is true that all humans are social beings. All right, so the second one is career. The third one is family. The fourth one is health. Five, finances. Uh, six, legal issues. And number seven, spiritual. And I've, I love to ask spiritual if my client wants to know anything spiritual because I feel like that's very important. Uh, so that you are guided in your life and you're inspired to live where you need to go. All right, so whenever we're looking at the specific questions, you always want to ask, whenever you're using Lenderman cards, open-ended questions. You can ask a yes and no question, okay? But to get more information uh, from a Lenderman card reading, you really need to have open, specific questions, okay? Um, and I always ask my clients, are you sure you want to know everything? Because you, again, you've got to be careful what you ask for because you will get the answer. So whenever you're generating questions, open-ended questions, you want to use uh, the beginning question like what, how, why, now, when they're asking when, like, when will I meet my boyfriend? It is very tricky to do time. It is possible. And so what's been recommended that when you do a one question and you find the answer, um, look at it seasonal or kind of give them a, a variation of beginning and end. It may happen here. It may happen within this amount of time. So an approximation. Um, if you look in the biblical, you know, in the Bible, a lot of people who predicted things, they were wrong a lot of times whenever they're talking about time. And it a result of that, they were severely punished. So again, and it really, and you ask why is time so important? It's because whenever you're doing a psychic reading, you're actually finding information, you're getting information for what is presently possible, okay? So if you look ahead too far in advance, things may change. Your client may make di different decisions. Uh, something may have happened. The universe may have changed some things around. And so, you know, six months up to a year, it's very difficult to be very accurate on. Now, who, whenever you're looking at characteristics, I have been asked, who is my boyfriend going to be and what is he going to look like? It is, again, possible to do. However, um, when you're looking at characteristics, everybody has a different opinion. Like when I say, oh, he seems very short, short to me may be a different definition or what I look at someone being short entirely different to somebody else. So someone who is very extremely tall, maybe six feet, they may consider a short person 5'7". However, I am 5'4". So I consider anybody short, shorter than I am. <laughs> so it depends on the perspective. And a lot of times whenever I'm doing mediumship readings, I'll tell a client, um, I think that, you know, your loved one uh, passed away when they were young. No, 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 no. They weren't that young. They were 30 something. And I, and from my perspective, because I'm older, I'm thinking that is really young. <laughs> so, so again, it's all in perspective. So you got to be very careful of the language that you use so that you make sure that you, 
you and your client are on the same page and that you're talking about the same thing. Now, health is very difficult, um, a, a very sticky subject. So make sure that, you, and I know that they know, but you still need to do the disclaimer. Make sure your client knows that you are not a medical doctor and say, I am not giving any medical advice. You need to go to the doctor. I am not going to put any questions on here that specify what you should ask whenever you're looking at the health category. It's just because it's a very sticky subject that you can get in trouble very quickly. Now, I will tell you that the number one thing that a lot of people want to know is, am I pregnant? When am I going to get pregnant? And why have I not gotten pregnant yet? So a lot of that, yes, it is. You know, when you're looking at the pregnancy issue, it is medical. So again, that might be something, well, I can look into this, but however, you need to go to the doctor, okay? Because again, it's very sticky. All right, so let's look at relationship questions that you can ask the cards whenever a client wants to know about a relationship. So what do I need to release in order to be ready for a relationship? What is the romantic potential of this relationship? What will be the likely outcome if I pursue a, per, a, pursue a relationship with? What actions can I take to improve my relationship? What are his intentions toward me, her intentions toward me, or a name? Okay, so what are my prospects for a love interest in the future. And the reason why I'm going over these questions is because you may need to try to, because a lot of times the clients won't know what question to ask. So you may want to ask them, well, kind of what things do you need to know? So then you need to come up with a question that you ask the card so you can get a specific answer. And so that's why I'm going over these questions. You may want to memorize a couple of them, may want to use the same ones a lot, um, because you will get more of a consistent reading and you'll get a lot better um, relationship with your cards. You'll be able to use your intuition much better that way. Okay, so the current questions that a client may need to know the answer to is, what will my future hold if I stay in this position? What is the lesson I am learning from my career or workplace? How am I blocking my success in my career? How do I succeed in my job? And then what do I need to do to advance in my career? Now let's go to the family questions. Family questions. What is my current family going to teach me? How can uh, I best assist my family member in their current situation? What is the underlying cause of my family member or family situation? How can I improve my situation with my family? Now, remember, a family can also mean a very, very, very close friend. So a family doesn't have to be a biological. and be can be whoever you're living with at the time. That can be your family. Financial and legal questions I combine together. So these are questions that a, a client may need to know the answer to. What can I do to improve my personal situation? Um, what steps do I need to take to increase my financial success? How can I create a better perspective and relationship with money? Because a lot of people, you know, they're either afraid of money because if they get too much money, it may cause more problems in their life. So I just, I love that question. What is the best way to tackle this legal situation? What is preventing me from resolving this legal situation? Or what will be likely outcome if I choose to, whatever they choose to do concerning this legal issue? All right, so spiritual questions. What do I need to resolve to move forward happily? Will pursuing my path lead me a long time of happiness? What do my spirit guides want me to know about the current situation? Or what spiritual support can I look to aid in my journey? 
And even though, you know, you see these questions, you can change these questions however you want to, to fit your, your client's needs and your needs. Now, the last slide that I want to show you are general questions. So these are questions that if your client can come up with and they go, I don't know, I don't know what area I really need answers to or help in or guidance. So these are general questions. What is the best, my best course of action? What would be the outcome if I, what can I focus on next? What am I overlooking right now? What opportunities can I take advantage of? What advice do I need to have for the week or for this year? So again, these questions are open-ended, and if you use a couple of them, you can generate more and more and more. And what I do is I actually have a list of them in front of me, not, not when I'm with a client, but whenever I'm practicing. And you may want to practice uh, doing different, you know, layouts and everything with your cards. And so, you know, for you, and if you do this, write down the question that you're asking and write down the answer. Because, you know, and date it as well, because you never know when you look back and you're going, oh my gosh, that was so correct. Now, if your questions are not giving you the answers that you want, or you're not feeling your intuition is really um, concurrent with what your cards are saying, then maybe you're asking the wrong question. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that this helps guide you on how to begin questioning before you do a psychic reading using Linderman cards. So again, happy Linderman card reading. Mm -hmm.